All right, guys. Welcome to another episode of Lifting the Veil. Um, another episode of Decoded. Um, for those of you that have not subscribed, please subscribe. What we're going to do as we always do and start where we left off. Obviously, there's where we left off. The fake. 3D virtual reality project blue beam fake plane going through the building not really though because it's not even really there um all right so I wanted to point out right here it says um and all that dwelt upon the earth shall worship him You'll see where we're going with this in a minute. Whose names are not written in the book of life, or in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the earth, or from the foundation of the world? Now, I've showed you guys before the Vatican. We can go there again. Let's check it out. Actually, let's just do it like this. Um, hang on. Yeah, let's just go there instead. And the Vatican is right here. There we go. All right. We're going to point out one more time that from the foundation of the earth, there's the giant snake that I've always shown you guys. Eye, eye, face, head, head of the snake. Middle part, we've tagged it for someone later on in life. Um, here's also the head of a snake. Let's zoom in on that a little bit so you guys can see what I mean. Alright, you see this curvature and then it goes down and then these windows are ovals. Why would you have a oval shaped window? Unless they were snake eyes. Because there's one on each side. It's a big gigantic snake head. Next to uh, another gigantic snake. So. The beast will be given power. Unto the next serpent. Alright. Now check this out. I noticed. That. When he makes the symbol of the cross. He makes an upside down cross. Watch. He's arguing with the parents, or telling the parents that he's disappointed that the kids don't know how to make the symbol of the cross. However, watch what he does. Right here. I'm sorry about that. Hey, so you need a website. Hang Let me on. show you how I made mine with Wick. Che non hanno imparato a fare il segno della croce. Did you guys catch that? Watch. Let's move me. And let's rewind a little bit. Watch how he does that. There we go. This name when kids don't even know how to make the sign of the cross. Ci sono bambini che non hanno imparato a fare il segno della croce. All right. Della croce, meaning 
the symbol of the cross, the sign of the cross. We're going to do that one more time. We're going to stop it frame for frame. He starts at his forehead. He goes to his chest. And then stops right here. And does like that. Side and side. He just made an upside down cross on his freaking chest. I mean, it is the synagogue of Satan. And I have shown you guys, and again, also just showing you again just now, right here, that the whole Vatican is a giant snake. You're looking at the side of the face right there. Let's go in for a close-up. Oh, there's its tongue. Alright. Now here's the front door. Right there is the front door. A lot of people take this back track. They take this back route. I know. A lot of people stand over here and go in this door. But the front door is the snake's mouth. And... Here is the fort tongue, right here. The tongue splits. Now this is some governmental building. I don't really know. That's aside the fact though, that the whole thing is a snake and he just did an upside down cross on his chest. By the way, for those of you that I haven't went over it with and you didn't get to hear it, the word priest, the word priest, the, the word priest means the leader of the herd of cattle. All right. That's what the word priest means. Sorry about the barking in the background, but it will be all right. All right, um, now one real quick, uh, another definition of it in simpler, you know, but it says, woe to the woman that sue pillows to her, uh, to all armholes. Definition is woe to the woman who saw magic bands like charm bracelets on all wrists and make all and where were we at sorry and make vines for the heads of the persons crowns they always do that they think they're gods all right, we'll go and head and exit out of that. Um, so, yeah, there's that charm bracelets. You can go and look it up. I'm not going to look it up right now. But uh, Catholics are very known to wear red charm bracelets. Um, that is witchcraft. I will let you know right now. If you don't know, it's not your fault. It is your doctrine's fault. I'm going to let you know that right now, too. I'm not here judging you. If you are doing this and you didn't know it, that's not your fault. Now you know. Just do some of your homework. That's all I'm saying. Um, so yeah, and the red is symbolic for the blood sacrifice. So... I mean, that's what the witches use it for, but they've passed it on to y'all, you know, your doctrine, just like they've done things to all the other doctrines. There's really only one correct doctrine, Yeshua, but a lot of people are being led astray, so I'm here to do my best to actually, let's do this. I'm here to do my best as to keeping 
the people safe and aware of what they do, why they do it, and how they do it. Um, so in the field, keeping over the flock at night, there were shepherds amongst RZ. There were shepherds abiding, meaning there were shepherds in the field, keeping over the flock, keep watching over the sheep at nighttime. We do a lot of our videos at nighttime. I will let you guys know that. I know you don't know what type of time frame I'm on, but we do a lot of our videos at night. I do a lot of my work at night. The Lord speaks all the time, but obviously when it is silence, he speaks most, or at least it comes more clearly. Sometimes, I mean, you know, I could just be walking around in Walmart and that voice, you know, look over there at this <laughs> and he'll point out things for Reasons sometimes I don't even find out until later. Like, why did you just point that out to me, God? Oh, well, I'll find out eventually. It's all on his time. Glory to God. All glory to God. All right, so yeah. The, uh... Pointing out the fact of watching over the sheep at nighttime. I'm watching out for you guys that do not know. You know, like we also spoken before, the gift wasn't given to everybody. We've also spoken about um, God only sent, Yeshua only sent two men into the enemy's camp to spy and then come back and warn his people. That's all I'm doing. I'm going into the enemy's camp. I'm learning about witchcraft. I'm learning about how they're how they're doing, what they're doing, why they're doing it, um, what all of their plans, motives, and agendas are, and getting it out to you guys. And as always, lining it up to the Word of God, Scripture, the best book you'll ever read. Also, for those of you that don't know, the Book of Enoch is another really good read on being able to figure out all of why we're here, how we got here how we get back home it's amazing i mean the bible will do the same but the book of enoch is good uh it speaks of enoch the prophet in the bible one time uh and the book of ezekiel um so you can go and read about him go check out the book of enoch um or the book of joshua uh, the book of Joshua 4.18, we've went over that before and we'll end it at this, that the creatures had the face of men and teeth like knives. And they were in power. And they had sex with the women and men of power. Once they fell, they had sex with the women and men on earth of power. Again, they are in power. They're always watching. They're always doing their best to keep the ones that don't really pay attention in line. So, let's see if we can end it with the scripture real quick. Okay, yeah, here, we can end it in this one. We've done this one before, and we'll, we'll start back with more decoding stuff. This is where we'll leave, we'll start in the next segment where we're at right now and then we'll go into some decoding because this one says every good gift and every perfect gift is from above so it's from god and cometh down from the father of lights god with whom is no variabilance verbalance so no, no actual speaking, and then neither shifting of shadows, shifting shadows, hidden images, 
Love you guys. See you soon.